Good morning, Magandang Umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. Today is Monday, and it's the beginning of the work week, and it is Bill Day 218. Yes, Bill Day 218 on the build schedule out at Villa Feliz. Yesterday, as you know, we went down to Alabang and we looked for um, building materials. I came back with a couple sets of tiles for two different rooms, and that was this, the uh, the CR main floor on the, on the first floor and the laundry room. We got that, and I think I picked up, oh, and I picked up the stove top, and I got this stuff on order for the remainder of the, uh, the kitchen appliances that are going inside there. And I think, oh, and I made some good contacts for some, ah, uh, good morning, Mark. What do you what do you got this morning? Fire. What is that? Oh, is that your change? Oh, your change. I don't have any change right now. All of my spare change is in my truck right now for the tolls. What is that? Oh, my, oh you guys all got candy. You got? You're, are you still on on break? No, no school. Hindi school. No. Okay. I see you later. Bye, guys. I'm going to work. Where are you going? To, pl to play. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? <laughs> oh, somebody's got a backpack. Are you going to school? No? <laughs> where are you? Oh, okay. Um, oh, okay. Very good. Well, you have a wonderful day. <laughs> you too? <laughs> so anyway, where was I? Uh, I was, oh, I was talking about the things that we did, uh, the successes yesterday going down to Albon. And I also made a contact for the appointment to have the, the, uh, the stone person from Stone 2000 come out uh, somewhere in the first week of November. Uh, to give us the estimate and uh, the amount that we needed the and hopefully do top, uh, stone selection uh, For the feature wall inside the great room. So yesterday was a very successful day Well, anyway, I've chatted enough and I need to get off to work. So anyway without further delay Let's get today's video underway Michelle, Lola, Janet, Hi, how's everybody? Morning. How's everybody good, today? Good you were so funny last yeah. night. You were so funny. <laughs> did, did he tell you when I came in last night? <laughs> I came in so very late last night uh, from uh, from, from the Alabang? from Alabang, but it was dark. Because so I, of <laughs> no, because of me. Because uh, I, it takes me so long to make a decision. I'm uh, getting too old. Uh, <laughs> You're gonna be my age one day. So I, get, I came in here last night, and you know, normally I, I finish doing my vlog over in Tierra Media, and I, I don't. Yeah. So so sometimes when I come in and it's already dark, I wait till I get back to the apartment and I'll do the closing there. But my apartment is so dark, the lights are dark, and it's an echo because it's all concrete in it, and, and you can't understand. So we did the closing here last night. He helped me do the closing on yesterday's. Wait, yeah, watch yesterday's episode. It was, it was very, very funny. Very funny. And I, I got some really nice comments about you yesterday. Yes, ma'am. Bye. The beautiful. The bye. Oh, thank you. Awesome. Where did you see? Did you see it on the video? Yes. Oh, thank you. All right. See you later. Oh, don't let me forget. Uh, ten, ten eggs tonight. I am out of eggs. Ten eggs. Ten. Thank you. See you later, little Janet. Where's Tess? Ah, where's your? Where's Tess? Hey, Tess. Wherever you are. Morning. Good morning to you. Well, of course, it's just after eight o'clock. They are just starting to work out at Villa Feliz, and it is starting to rain. But it's not. It's not one of those heavy rains, and I'm really not too concerned right now. Uh, but I want you to look at the sky. You see the sky? Well, that's a heavy cloud right there, but you see right behind it, there's blue all around behind it and all. So I have a feeling, and you see this blue every, everywhere around there too. So I kind of have a feeling this is like one of those isolated uh, rain clouds right now. Uh, I just hope 
since we have the roofers that are supposed to be coming in today that uh, it's not going to be an issue they're not going to wake up and say oh it's raining uh we don't need to go in today because i have a feeling it's going to clear up but you never know again it's like what i always say around here uh texting while on a motorcycle that's cool so anyway you, we have uh, a, a, what i hope is going to be a productive day today and i don't expect that this uh, is going to deter from any of the progress at least i hope so well anyway i've got a couple of shout outs this morning and it's a couple of birthday shout outs and it's a couple of shout outs for a couple of lovely ladies who are relatives of some of the subscribers on our channel and the first one goes to Joseph Boomenlog's daughter, uh, Jenny, who is turning 30 today. Uh, your dad said that you're turning 30, so I hope you don't mind that we did at your age on here. But anyway, happy birthday, Jenny. <laughs> hey. Also, and one of our other subscribers, uh, Bigfoot Junior's wife, uh, Rose Marr. Uh, she's turning 28 today as well. Anyway, happy birthday to you, Rose. <coughs> Hey, good morning. Good morning. Oh, oh, by the way, Rose is from Bacalad. Anyway, uh, hopefully eight hours of work done yesterday. Let's look and see if we can see any differences from when I left on Saturday night uh, to the day what got done yesterday. Uh, so remember areas they were working on were digging the uh, stairway from the driveway area up to the backyard. We'll see how much advancement they got on that. Of course, there was no roofing done yesterday and then we can look on the inside, the, the main part of the house. Uh, I think it was tiling in bedroom number uh, two, bedroom number two. Remember there was just like two rows done when I left on Saturday, so we'll take a look at that also. So anyway, yesterday, uh, nothing got done here, uh, so I don't know where all the manpower was focused, but maybe it was focused somewhere else. I will ask my builder, because uh, this is exactly where we were on Saturday, so nothing here on Sunday. Uh, the trenching on the back of the house, uh, nothing, nothing there, nothing got trenched on the back. Uh, let's let's see what did get done. I have no idea what got done yesterday. Oh, Manny got all this. Look what Manny got done here. He got all the piping prepared inside here, and he'll do the wrapping, the socks around here, and then we'll uh, get rid of all the soil, and then we'll put some gravel inside here, and we'll be rocking and rolling with the driveway area right here. Uh, so far, this is the only thing I see that got done yesterday. Well, this is cool. This was progress yesterday. Uh, Kimpy, the uh, the master carpenter that we have here on site, and foreman. Uh, remember, we had one of these done, and this is for the special feature ceiling that goes inside the sunroom. And we have one, two, three, four, five, and he's working on number six over there. 
So that's a uh, tangible proof that we had something uh, accomplished on the carpet side. Let's take a look at the tiles for uh, bedroom number two on the first floor. So we got some progress on the, uh, the tile work inside the um, bedroom number two. Hmm. I don't know what's going on here. I don't remember this pipe being uncovered inside here. I will have to ask my builder about that. Ooh, damage, damage. I'm gonna say they broke the pipe. Maybe they did some mortar testing yesterday and they found a leak here. Uh, this pipe is damaged. I can, I can feel the water right here coming. So one of the things I asked my builder to do was hook up all the uh, the pipe, the main the main coming from the street into the main coming into the house and pressurize the system, the entire system. And it's possible since that is damaged and that is he found a problem. Let's go out to the street and see if he actually did hook up the water out there. Uh, it looks like he did uh, so that test revealed a problem and that's the reason why you do the pressurization well anyway I just checked the position of all the valves inside here in our manifold and one of the valves is turned off this one's on 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 off on and I'm gonna assume since this is the one that's off that's the one that goes to that pipe that has the breach in it uh, in the hallway on the first floor. That's why you put a manifold so every re a part of the rest of the house can be charged. And I noticed that the system is charged, but mm, this is, let's see, which one is it? This one's turned off for some reason. If this is turned off, this is, this is what's going to the rest of the house. So I'm, I'm not going to mess with them I'm not gonna, until I talk with my builder to see what he's actually doing on here. What? I pollinate all of your food. Here, come here. I can't believe he ate all that food. Here. Yeah. Over here. Over here. Over here. Hey, back over here. Come on. Come on. You want me to feed you up there? Uh. Women. <laughs> hmm. No roofers. Uh, I wonder if they looked, like I said, I wonder if they looked at the skies and one said, uh, it's going to rain. We don't need to go out there. We haven't had any problem down here so far. And all these are scatter clouds. <sighs> after lunch again you're probably saying to yourself James where is all my information all my good tips everything from before lunch you spent the whole morning doing what well I had a visitor here uh, we had one of our subscribers and she goes by the uh, username winky and uh, she, she's becoming a really good friend of my Asawa uh, my wife and uh, they were <laughs> and but she lives down in Cebu and she used to live here in Lipa and she has some contacts here in Lipa and some of the contacts that you have they do landscaping and I think they might have done some landscaping jobs for her as well and I was visited today by uh, uh, two uh, men uh, Archie and Jojo 
uh, and I think they both work for Winky for some other projects or they're they acquaintances or something like that. I don't know, my, my wife didn't tell me all the details yet, but I'm sure I'll find out later. And she'll probably tell me I got everything wrong. So anyway, but they came today and uh, they, they seem to uh, understand the uh, architecture and, and design and layout and la of landscaping business. So what uh, they're going to do along with everybody else that has done designs and proposals for us, they're going to do their own and they're going to submit yeah. that to us. And uh, we kind of gave them an idea what our budget is and they're going to try to tailor uh, the design of the landscaping to our budget and to also our desires. Uh, so look forward to getting some information for that. Um, I did get some from uh, the other company and they gave me some pictures to give you a kind of a presentation of what their uh, idea of what uh, they believe that we would like. So it seems like we got a little, I mean this isn't a massive rain, it's just kind of like an isolated, but it's rainy right now. So I'm going to take this opportunity <laughs> It's not raining a lot, and I have a feeling it'll stop like in about two minutes. I'm gonna take this opportunity to go into the Baha'i Kubo. And what I want to do, we had another landscape company come out. Remember the one I said that did that phenomenal design for us? And uh, I wanna show you some of the pictures that they said it was okay for me to release of their idea. Now the pictures they sent me there, they were the simple pictures. They actually came out when they talked with me. They brought some video where you could be inside the house, and it showed looking from inside the house to the outside of the house as you would be looking at your uh, your gardens and your landscaping from, from that perspective. Uh, and it also gave around, it was like a 360 degree view. And that would, that video was very good, but they didn't send me that. And uh, they didn't send me some of the other pictures. Uh, they gave some different perspectives. And one of them that they didn't send me was the one over there by the driveway. It was over there by the driveway where the two planters are going to be and the red palms that we're putting in between each one of the fence posts over there. Uh, it, it was really nice, but they didn't they didn't add that. So let me run over into the Bahakubo, find those uh, attachments, and show you, and uh, you let me know what you think. Okay, so well, anyway, I have my uh, PowerPoint slide open, and uh, what I want to do is I want to show you, uh, we were visited uh, a couple of weeks ago by this company, a uh, landscape company called Matasigan's uh, Garden, and uh, they approached us, and they, said, and they looked very professional, and they uh, said they're going to give us a uh, architectural drawing of what they think uh, what we want based on our requirements and so we told them kind of the things that we want in the front uh, we wanted to design a zen garden and my wife kind of defined a few things there in the back i wanted a uh, like a botanical garden but with some grass for the kids and grandchildren and stuff like that to run around in so they did design and let me show you what they came up with based on our desires so what you see here, this is the uh, the front yard. This is the Zen garden, uh, some, and this is for my wife. Uh, she was interested in having something with sand and stone and and uh, some Japanese features like bonsai and things like that. So uh, you can see, and this is from the view from the porch. Uh, let's go to the, the next screen. And this is looking from the walkway before you climb up the porch area, and you're looking sideways, uh, looking towards the east and it sort of looks like there's a crepe myrtle there on the right they, i don't think they call that a crepe myrtle i don't know what it is they, they had an inventory list that they showed me and you can see the obvious bonsai trees on the left hand side and, and down the center and then you see something that looks like big pieces of slate for walkways through the sandy area uh and then you see one of those little statues that you normally see in like in a japanese garden and if you look in the in the middle towards the back you'll see uh, fountains and these fountains this water feature that they have in there this is one thing that my wife kind of objected to uh, she says that uh, you don't really see water in the Japanese Zen garden it's mostly dry with rocks and stone and uh, occasional some uh, some grass and some uh, shrubs or little trees a bonsai tree or something like that so uh, they're they're looking at that and possibly will be modifying their design uh, for their proposal and this looks at it from the uh, east wall uh, and, and if you look towards the front you'll see you'll see the gateway uh, the, where the vehicle goes through all the way uh, towards the back a little bit to the right and uh, right of center and uh, but the, the fence is, is, in a, is not a real pictorial what our fence is going to be remember our fence is going to be very low and it's going to be like iron uh, uh, railing inside there for the in between the fence posts uh, so this is just to look at it from a different perspective. Uh, let's take a look at what they uh, designed for me in the backyard. 
So this is looking from the lanai up on the second floor uh, off the master bedroom, looking down into the backyard. You see old Bahi Kubo sitting over there in the left-hand side. Well, it hasn't moved, and it's not going to move. I think we're going to keep this right here. I like this position right here. And you can see the little walkways. I asked them to do walkways, and I uh, asked them to do some border plants. And I said over in the right-hand side, I wanted right or towards the back by the cistern, I wanted a vegetable garden. And that's going to be like our farm area that we farm at. And then if you can't hardly see it from this picture, but you'll see it in some of the other pictures, you'll see uh, towards the right, towards the back, uh, or just off of the right, uh, off of center, you'll see there's a, there's a waterfall and a koi pond. And let's go ahead and take a look at that. I think, uh, oh, there you go. There's a picture of the koi pond. And remember, this is all stone. They will do this whole thing with stone, and they will have a professional pond person come out uh, for the pumps and the drains and the filters and all that kind of stuff as well. Uh, that's uh, what we're focusing on right now is basically the uh, pond. And this is uh, like an aerial view from the back fence in the corner in the north uh, east corner of the yard looking down. And you can see on the left there, you can see it looks like my, my pineapple plants that I plan on putting in there from uh, Tagai Tagai. And to the left, you see you, it looks like pineapple plants that I will be putting from my pineapple plants that I will get from Tagai Tai. And uh, you see there's some lawn area so the kids can play around the lawn. We didn't lose all lawn space. And uh, you can see the beautiful arrangement that they did on here. Uh, the only thing they did not do that I asked, I asked them to put down uh, some, some, some hills. I wanted to see some uh, hills with like maybe an ornamental tree in the center of it. Uh, we don't have a lot, again, we don't have a lot of room to work back here when you start using up all the space for these features. Uh, but I think they could probably fit one in somewhere, so they're going to take a look at that as well. Uh, and I think that's all. Yep, that's all. So that's the that's all of the pictures. That's all the pictures that uh, the folks at Marasigan sent to uh, us and uh, for us to share with you. Let's go up to the second floor. I want to show you. I just got done talking with my builder, who's also my architect. And my wife and I sat down for a long time last night looking at some designs of Tuscan Mediterranean type of uh, the bedrooms and, and bathrooms and things like that. And we came across some really interesting design that we never thought about uh, when we started designing this house. And uh, I kind of pitched something uh, both to my wife and both to my architect. And uh, let me show you what uh, my idea is for changing our CR up on the second floor so we are more authentic. Uh, to the original tradition of the Tuscan theme. So what we are going to do, we're going to focus on the CR here. And uh, this door that we're going to put, remember uh, we purchased the three CR doors uh, from the, uh, the CR door shop in Alabang in the CW complex. And I've never been really happy about closing this area up uh, with with a door because remember that is the only window this is the only window inside here and once the roofing is closed we don't have a reflection off the insulation this is all closed and that's the only window and you close this door even though it has a like a translucent window on it, it it's going to block most of the light that's coming inside here so the natural light that's about all that's going to be in there at any one time so we found some really authentic designs on uh, on houses that are built with the Tuscan theme. And when you have a suite built, a suite being means there's multiple items inside there, a bedroom and a bathroom and a closet, and whatever you have, it's, it's a multitude of items that make that entity for the master bedroom. Once you have that, uh, if you do it in the design of, of Tuscan or Mediterranean, a lot of times there's open spaces, there are no doors. So you see how we have an archway right here. We don't want a door right here. We want this to be open to give us just like what we did downstairs on the first floor where we opened up the sunroom now to the dining room, to the kitchen, to the great room. The, the airiness is just, is just wonderful down there and it makes a very good feeling uh, and the energy just flows. So here we, we decided or I decided and I spoke with my wife and she liked it, we opened this up. Now we go from this really nice arch ceiling then we go into this a uh, very conventional mm, contemporary type of a square door system right here. So I'm going to show you a picture of something, a design that we saw 
uh, when we were looking up some designs last night. And then I pitched this to my builder. And, uh, and what it is, is we're going to take this. This door isn't very big. And this door is only 80 centimeters. Well, let me tell you, it's only 80 centimeters on one side. <laughs> I, I just realized this. You see we have 80 centimeters right here, about a little less than 32 inches. But on the other side, <laughs> it's a quarter inch difference. So I don't know if you can see, but when they frame this in, <laughs> You see all this extra space right over here on, on the back side? It, the angle is wrong. So we have a quarter inch more of wall than we do on the other. So it, it had to be corrected. And, uh, uh, but that's, that's not going to be a problem anymore because what we're going to do, we're going to move this from 80 centimeters. We're going to move it to 90 centimeters. So it's going to come to over here. We're going to cut this wall out right here. And what we're going to do, we are going to do a perfect radius arch on the top of this area right here to match from one side to the other uh, and it'll be sort of like when you're going through this threshold area with this one you're going to be going into this one and another thing that we're going to do we're going to stay with the traditional theme of Mediterranean style uh, we're going to try this is going to be the only part of the house that is going to be true 100% I hope Mediterranean kind of design uh, we're going to be using textured paint for the walls. We're going to round off the edges. All of these, we're not going to have sharp edges. These are all going to be rounded. Uh, this doorway, this doorway, all this is going to be rounded, just like what I'm going to show you inside the picture, or, or I have already showed you if I added it in already. And then we're going to have the arch, and it's all going to be rounded. Then inside here, we are going to build a different type of a, uh, a, a countertop uh, more to traditional old-time Italian Mediterranean Tuscan type of a design and it's going to be it's going to be concrete and instead of doing tiles on the top tiles is, are would be really uh, very traditional to that theme but I spoke with my wife and she won the war on that one again last night because remember this is her area and uh, we're going to put granite we're going to put granite here so it's going to be very similar to the design which is going to be cabinet space under here cabinet space under here here we're going to have some drawers inside here and the side here and the side here and the side between on both sides of the cabinets and that's going to house the uh the the drawers in here it's all going to be concrete so we'll use very thin maybe we'll use four inch or maybe we'll use forms inside i don't know what my builder's going to do but he said it's no problem he says it's a very easy thing to do inside of here instead of building the design because they were going to build custom cabinets inside here anyway uh, so putting up a few pieces of concrete inside here is not going to be any any problem Then it'll be a little bit of private countertop here and There's gonna be a little bit of an elevation here and then another countertop and then a vessel sink a vessel sink uh, Very similar to what you're going to see in the photo or you've already seen in the photo that I've been showing over the top of this and what we're also going to do just like that design We are going to put a light here. We're going to put our light on this side uh, a, like an antique light here, an antique light here on this side of the bathtub and window and this side of the bathtub and window as well and it will be on a separate circuit from all the, the can lights that we have on the top so it will give a very soft feeling inside this room uh, for taking baths and uh, whichever bathtub that we end up deciding to go with that oval shaped one uh, my, by the way my wife likes the one with the with the big rim on the side of it uh, I told you but the roofing guys showed up I think it was like 10 o'clock they arrived soon enough for the 10 o'clock break and uh, worked an hour and and then had lunch uh, but they are working we're getting something done and I, what I want you to see is kind of cool is there's the flashing I was telling you all about and the flashing is now you don't see the stainless steel anymore that's hidden and we also brought in our roll of the screen 
that's going to go in the top. Once I get that done, I ask them, do not secure the the last row of tiles that connect from the uh, the, the row above the secret gutter. Uh, do not secure those because what we're going to do is we're going to put some screen, some very wide gap screen inside there so we don't get any leaves or anything that's going to mm, clog up our uh, downspouts. It was a little bit windy just a little while ago and I didn't want to take the drone up. I want to do a little bit of a drone shot especially in the area on the front where they did the flashing for the uh, roofing tile. Uh, so I'm going to go grab the drone real quick and we'll do a quick spin around the house.
I just want to show you something. When we designed the house here, uh, I said at the very beginning of the episode when we were talking about orientation of your house and where you put your rooms for coolness of your rooms, depending on the way the sun rises and the sun sets. And, and you can also take advantage of lighting. I want to show you now, we are going towards, sun, it's almost five o'clock now, the guys are going to be getting off here in a minute now. Uh, but as the sun is setting to the west, uh, we were hoping that we could achieve some really good natural sunlight. Get it away from the microphone. Uh, we were trying to achieve some really good sunlight. Lighting up the natural light inside the great room and the advantage of all the windows that we have. Some of them are small. Some of them are small. Some of the subscribers made some comments earlier about how they're going to be able to see the So we're taking advantage of this window, this window, this window, this window, this window, and these two windows over here. Plus we'll have a little bit of light coming in from the sunroom. And of course, remember, this is all glass and this is all covered. This is the fused windows inside here. So the great room is going to get the best light uh, at the end of the day. And the climate here is very, uh, very moderate. So the, and the, being that the ceiling is so high, a lot of the Heat's going to be rising up here, so it's going to be very comfortable down there. I predict it's going to be very comfortable down there. Then again, we will have an air con over there, and these four windows over here open up as well, and the heat of the, uh, the convection of the air moving up, uh, the heat moving up, should go out and exhaust on some of those as well. And if we want to, we also have the, the French doors here, up to this area, to the master bedroom. Uh, this window space we can open it we can slide these up I can feel the breeze coming in of course we got the front where the French doors would be in this but there is a nice breeze coming through this here it's very comfortable where have you been all day I haven't seen you all day you've been hiding I've only seen Hapon hey leave her alone I haven't got to see her all day <laughs> I don't know where she's been all day. <laughs> so anyway, as it is, it is the end of the day. And I'm going to do a quick wrap up of what got done today. Uh, uh, you saw the focus. A lot of the focus was on this area right here. We saw the guys doing. We got all the steps up here uh, today. Can you imagine had they worked on any of the steps yesterday on Sunday? Uh, then we would probably have almost this entire wall. Most of this... Uh, the, the uh, plastic coat done on there, but that's okay. We're we're doing we're doing well. I'm happy with the progress from today, so we're doing great here. Uh, steps going into the back backyard. You see where that that soil is. It all that soil has to move anyway, because that is about grade level, right about there. So all that soil there is going to have to be distributed to the backyard back there. And you also saw Kempi working on the. Oh, I don't know what. He, oh, here they are. It's, they're all sitting over here, and this is going to be that real neat. <laughs> and this is kind of the way it's going to set inside the ceiling up in the sunroom and we'll have a fan inside there these will be separated even further and I, i'm not really sure how they're going to do the finishing on there um i, I don't know well, as he does it he like i said he's a master carpenter and it's going to be interesting because i'm a carpenter also and I, i'm observing everything that he does and so uh some new techniques for me to learn as well you also saw roofing and i'm not going to go up to the roof you saw we got some of the flashing done inside the secret gutter. And uh, you didn't see me just recently. I got up here in this area, uh, up on the lanai, and we're addressing the secret gutter right up there. Uh, the best way to do some waterproofing inside there and to put some of the decro material inside there as well. 
uh, down in the basement, you saw they were working on the French doors. Uh, the French doors, they were doing the sealant, and then they'll be doing the uh, the staining pretty soon after that. And those will be in preparation. I'm not sure which French doors, because we have French doors here, and we have French doors that are going inside the uh, second floor at the loft area, which are right here. So we have we have four French doors that we're going to be uh, installing on the second floor. Hmm, see what else happened. Oh, you saw we got some tiling. Uh, the tiling got finished up in bedroom number two on the first floor. And I brought the tiles in uh, that I picked up yesterday, and they will probably be starting those. And those are for the CR on the first floor and for the laundry room. As a matter of fact, that was something that got done today. On the, uh, in the laundry room, uh, they did some cleanup inside here. They did a little bit more sealing around one of the floor drains, this floor drain over here in this room, and they ran the lines. You can see the, the line level, uh, which tells me tomorrow, uh, tomorrow they will be doing uh, the, the tiles inside the laundry room. You see at this point right here, this had, a, this had a hole in it. Somebody had knocked the hole inside here with one of the chippers and uh, this is re-energized again. My, uh, my builder uh, did the patch inside there, uh, a PPR coupler, and uh, I imagine everything is, is, is um, pressurized right now. We pressurized everything except for this link right here, and I will say, I will bet downstairs, that is the one uh, that was turned back on. So it should be all five of those on that uh, the manifold down there. All of them are uh, turned in the open position. And we'll leave those on. From here on out, we are on, the entire house is on uh, development water. Uh, we are hooked for all the hoses for doing all the mixing and everything. We are using the water bibs on the outside of the house uh, like you would normally use them. It's being used as a water bib. And all the hoses are hooked to that for all the daily needs here at the, at the house. And that's the way it should be from here on out. We should not be connect, connecting anything back out to the street anymore. Uh, we are moving. That, that, that's progress in itself. Uh, I can't think of... Uh, you saw other things that we're doing. People putting uh, the, uh, the finishing of some of the ceiling, you know, where they're doing the little mud uh, and the taping and stuff like that and doing the sanding. They're doing all of that up there as well. Uh, we got the, uh, the, the trenching done on this side over here. You see all this concrete right here. What I did is I had them do a slope away from the footer uh, because it was sloping back before. So when it would rain, the water would set up in this corner. This is all sloping away. It's sloping down between the wall and goes beyond uh, the floor beam for the basement. And uh, we are pretty much ready to do waterproofing. Then they have to dig a little bit more, a little bit deeper around here because this pipe here on this side has to be a little bit higher and has to have a slope down and it will slope all the way down to meet up with those. We can't have it lower than this area over here because if this is, if this is uh, lower, then water will backflow over here. It will never allow this water to leave and go to the uh, storm sewer, which is part of this. Everything goes in that direction. Uh, so that was good. Uh, I caught that this morning. Uh, they were getting ready to, to uh, just put a little bit of the plaster works inside without even meeting down to the uh, the, the uh, floor beam. So that got taken care of. Oversight. I keep talking about oversight. You have to be here for things like that. Looks very nice. So anyway, I'm going to close for today. Uh, today was a great day. Uh, I like days like that. And when I say, remember yesterday and the day before, I said uh, tangible, you get things you can touch. Well, you can touch all stuff like this. You can see and you can touch everything right here. Uh, Manny left a little bit early. Uh, there was no more materials. The th good thing about Manny working with us is um, if, if there's nothing for him to do, he cuts out so he doesn't charge any more money to the project here. Uh, and when he's needed, when we have everything, he'll be heading up all of these, doing all the pipes. He was the one that did all the pipes down inside there, and he's getting the proper uh, angles so that the water flows in the right direction. So I applaud, uh, I applaud his help uh, for getting this done. Uh, that, that's been pushed, pushed and pushed back and pushed back and pushed back. So that's great. So anyway, again, I, I'm gonna, I keep talking. Uh, I'm going to close for today. So if you enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you found it informative, please share. And if you found the least bit of entertaining uh, uh, and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And the way you do that is you click on that little My PI Dream heart in the bottom right hand side of your screen. You'll be subscribed and you will get notified each and every time I upload a video. Something I want to interject at the very end of this. I appreciate everybody 
who uh, takes the time to watch those ads you know those ads that pop up like at the beginning and you allow it to watch all the way through because as you know all the, the folks who uh, are YouTube partners uh, they can monetize their channel and when you monetize you can make a little bit of uh, you can make a little bit of money and you can take that money and you can do it like what we do here uh, if there's any type of a charitable thing that needs to go along I pass it on to some charitable uh, needs in the community uh, anything that happens around here and also helps with my expenses with uh, do, mm, the, the equipment and my day-to-day -day, uh, editing and everything like that the all the effort that I try to do to, to give you a quality video so for all of you who are watching and enduring those those uh, ads I thank you so anyway until tomorrow which is going to be build day mmm I'm gonna say I'm gonna make a wild guess and say 219 and uh, tomorrow is going to be Tuesday it is Tuesday tomorrow right tomorrow is Tuesday so until tomorrow you have a wonderful and blessed day